Welcome to Ether Ascended. Today's timeless pick a card is looking into the blessings coming your way. Take a deep breath and exhale. We have three piles to choose from pile one, carnelian, pile two, celestite, and pile three, turquoise. Take another deep breath and exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. If you need more time to choose your pile, pause the video now. See you at your pile. Welcome pile one. So let's look into what your next blessings will be. So you guys chose Carnelian. The number 14 could be relevant to you. The number five. Five means change. So the next big blessing for you is going to um, is going to be connected to a change. Okay. Now with carnelian being here, carnelian is a very high vibrational high vibrational crystal or well, agate that is connected to the base chakra. But it really what it does is it activates the positive side of the energy of the base chakra. So there's drive, there is motivation, there's inspiration, a spark of inspiration following the spark. You're going to follow the spark. I'm seeing the ace of wands here, so a new passionate beginning here. It comes off the tail of a change. Carnelian. This is divine masculine energy, so I'm seeing go-getter energy going after what it is that you want. I'm seeing courage, bravery, bold, being, speaking boldly, speaking your mind, standing up for yourself, standing up for your beliefs, leading, uh, leadership energy as well, taking the reins of your life, being in the driver's seat, these are all things that are coming to mind here. If you were lacking motivation or if you were feeling drained, you're going to feel vital again. we have the vessel. Interesting. Now we have feminine and masculine energy. The number 50, 60, 69 could be relevant to you. The number 69 as well as the number 6. Okay. 69 and the number 6. Feminine and masculine energy, a balance between the feminine and the masculine. Yin and yang, perfect balance. You're achieving that perfect balance within you. But there could also be a case of a divine masculine, divine feminine connection here, divine counterparts. It's possible that there is a change here pertaining to the situation. There's something also about your body, you becoming more active, physically active, tending to your body, to your vessel. There's something here about, um, I'm seeing the Ace of Cups now, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, a new passionate, emotional, emotionally connected beginning, self-love. I'm seeing a lot of self-love, taking care of business, taking care of what is good for you as well. There's something that you are holding in you, holding in you that you're about to release. You're going to be achieving stability in this after this change. If you've been feeling trapped, you're going to free yourself. Something about love here, definitely. Something about emotions and love. I'm seeing you really taking really good care of your body or better care of your body. You have sextile, opportunity. There could be an opportunity for you to collaborate here for a collaboration, to synergize your talents, your skills, your knowledge your gifts, 
with those of someone else. Maybe there's an opportunity, of, a window of opportunity opening for you to collaborate, synergize, synergy. Synergy of masculine and feminine energies also comes to mind. An opportunity to express your art. And I, this is the first time I'm seeing this snowflake here. Something about your uniqueness will be, you will have an opportunity to use or ex or share something that's very unique to you. We have follow the leader. Okay, so there's something else I'm picking up now. The number 40 could be relevant to you as well as the number four. Four is about structure. So change, a structured change. You're becoming some form of leader here because of something that you hold that's very unique. And again, you're becoming your own leader, but there's something that you're doing that is very unique that will have others inspired by you and following you. We have artists. So you're, you're going to have the opportunity to share your artistry or you're going to be engaging in some form of artistic activity. And I'm seeing painting here, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are painters. Maybe for some of you that's how you share your love is through painting. But even if you are not a, a painter or an artist in, in that way, if you engage in some form of artistic activity, it will be beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. Even if it's just to explore that side so that your creativity can start flowing in other directions, as like a catalyst, you have potential. So there's awakening potential in you. I'm seeing now a volcano wanting to erupt, waiting to erupt. There is something inside you that is wanting to be shared and expressed. Now, this could be quite literally a work of art, or it could be something as simple as something you wish to bring to the world. It could be just a creative solution, but there's something in you, there's this hidden potential that you're going to discover. We have Archangel Michael. You are working very closely with this power archangel, powerful archangel, whether you're aware of that or not. Archangel Michael is protecting and guiding you through your life right now, helping you cut out negativity. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. Aries is also possible. You are being very protected right now through your changes and new beginnings kitchen and we have creation. Some of you are literally creating something in the kitchen like you could be chefs or wanting to explore the culinary arts. Whatever you're creating, artistic or not, whatever you're trying to create in your life is going to put you in a leadership position and you are being very protected through the changes. And this is an act of self-love have the Empress, you have it all in you. You could also have Taurus or Libra in your chart. You're definitely creating something and you will reap the harvest. There's a lot of abundance coming your way. And I'm also seeing a physical glow up. You could be attracting your Divine Feminine counterpart or your Divine Masculine counterpart. Some of you could be quite literally pregnant or will be pregnant. Or there is something that you're creating, could be a project that will put you in a leadership position. Or there could be something that you are creating with your divine counterpart that will be very abundant. You could be a Lakshmi in Vedic astrology or you could be dealing with one. 
Lakshmi is someone who attracts abundance toward their partner, whether it's a business or romantic partner or both. So you could be that person you could be dealing with. This could be your divine counterpart. The number three could be relevant to you. Three days, three weeks, three months could be significant or the month of March. For some of you, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, harvest season would be March, March, April, May, which is autumn time. For some of you, the springtime, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, will be significant and there will be some form of a harvest, even though it is planting season. Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, pre-Empress. So right now you're in the pre-stages of all of this abundance coming in, final stages. You're coming into a lot of material security, being able to stand on your own two feet, being able to be financially independent, whatever that means for you. The Fool for a new beginning. So if you've been working on financial abundance to be able to have a new beginning, to promote change, that is what you're getting. You're having your new beginning here. And this new beginning is going to be very, very abundant. And if you are worried about finances, you don't have to worry. Whatever you're creating, you will have enough money for it. And you, it, it will derive enough money. Meanwhile, there will be some challenges. Five of wands. Maybe some people who are jealous of what you're achieving or they may try to come up against you but don't stop what you're doing because you're on the right track. There's always going to be someone who doesn't like what you're doing but you're doing it anyway with the fool. I'm seeing a lot of courage. I'm seeing a lot of bravery and it's paying off. Your courage will pay off. You're stepping into a whole new beginning here. And maybe it could be mirroring someone else who is doing the same thing, who is your divine counterpart. The Hanging Muse. You're gaining a new perspective. You're seeing life through a different perspective, from a different perspective, should I say. The number 12 could be relevant. The number 3. Page of Emotions. You're definitely following your heart. At the end of the day, that's what you're going to do. The leader, your heart will be your leader. Absolutely. Knight of Emotions, Knight of Cups. Uh, there could be someone here you're dealing with who, where there's an age gap. This person is coming toward you or you're coming toward this person. I feel the older person will be taking some physical action toward the younger person. There's a lot of um, emotional communication here, feelings being communicated. A lot of depth between two people. One will lead, one will follow happily. But you're both moving in the same direction toward each other. And you both seem to have the same goals in life. And you're both moving together side by side toward those goals as well. So those are the blessings that I'm seeing for you. There's more loving communication coming your way, action taking towards you. A lot of harmony and balance after a period of stagnation and this is very tied to your finances also looking on the up and up so if that is your reading pile number one it was a pleasure to read for you today let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section if it did not resonate choose another pile don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Paul 2. If you chose Celestite, this is your reading. The number 15 could be relevant to you. The number 6 as well. Um, 6 is Venusian number. It is also about family. It's about abundance and love. 
Celestite is connected to the angelic realm, so whenever you want to collect, connect with your archangels, Celestite will open you up to connecting with the angelic realm and divine energy to create a clear channel for communication with your guides and universal consciousness. So, your connection to your guides, to universe, to divine energy and the angelic realm is opening your energy up to more abundance coming through for your, for your life. Okay. You are very, so your angels and archangels are very present in this reading. We have the box. They want you to know that you are limitless and that you have been limiting yourself. And they want you to free yourself. And unsubscribe from the box. I don't know what that means. Unsubscribe from the box. Or living in the box. Or accepting the box. The number 44 could be relevant. So 44 is definitely a connection to the archangels as well. 44 means that you are being divinely guided and you are surrounded by archangels. So that's another confirmation. It's double energy from celestite or celestite. 4 plus 4 is also an 8. 8 is the number of infinity, stability, abundance, stable abundant. So whatever abundance is coming your way is stable. 6 to the 8. 6, 8. Stability is coming your way. The abundance coming in will be very stable. It's not going to just leave because you put a lot of structure into this. And whatever you're on, like whatever you have created, whatever you've strategized, is, is right on track. Yes, this is your confirmation. Whatever you're working on, my goodness, whatever formula you have going on there, it's going to be very long-lasting. The effects of the abundance coming in are going to be very long-lasting. So keep doing what you're doing, don't stop. Don't let anything deter you from being productive in that way because I also heard something else. There's something you want very, very badly that could be sometimes distracting you from pursuing or connecting and working on this path that is bringing in this abundance. But the thing is the very thing that is distracting you is where you're headed toward should you continue on this path toward creating this abundance. So in a way, you kind of need to be able to put this aside for the time being. Well, find time to be disciplined with your thoughts about this thing that you want very, very much. Put it to the side, at least when you're working on this thing that is bringing in the abundance and be disciplined with the time you find to think about this other thing, if that makes sense, because whatever you're creating is leading you to that thing that you want, but you can't let the thing that you want distract you too much right now. Um, but that is where you're headed. But also don't be too rigid with logic. Don't be too rigid with logic, because we have the box here. So think outside the box as if there is no box. Get out of the box. Break down all these walls keeping you from you and your unlimited potential. You're capable of a lot more than you believe or have believed so far and I do believe you are breaking down these walls. You are becoming more and more connected to your higher self, to the higher realms. You are understanding how much you are not bound, like that you're actually not that restricted as you think you are. It's about venturing out of your um, comfortable and what you know, your comfort zone. 
you're being called and pushed to move out of your comfort zone. Now, because we have a six in this reading and we have a five in pile number one, you may have felt connected to pile number one as well, and you may want to go and watch pile number one as well, because there seems to be a natural progression. Pile two seems to be the natural progression from pile number one. You're going to break through the fear. You're going to be able to overcome the fear. And fear is the only thing standing between you and the life that you want to live. Go watch my latest pick a card if you want to know how to deal with the fear. I believe my latest pick a card, the upload before this one, I think it was pile number one where we went through breaking down how to remove fear. There's a ton of things that will lead us to believe that we are limited and we have to understand that all of these things are put in place for a reason, that they're not really limiting us, that it's not as real as it is made us to believe, if that makes sense. Uh, this reading is coming off very cryptic, but there's maybe a reason for that. Maybe you understand exactly what I'm saying. We have Saturn again, restrictions and limitations. But again, this is about overcoming them. The wisdoms to see that, yes, restrictions, responsibilities, limitations are there for a reason. Structure is necessary. It is necessary that we push through and we deal with the practicalities, but only to the point where they serve us. If they start stunting our growth or limiting us or making us unhappy, it can turn us into a downward spiral. So there is this sense that there is a need to find a balance between what is structure and what is limitation, what is discipline and what is restriction. Because you can be disciplined doesn't mean you have to restrict yourself. Okay? If you're doing a good job, why should you be punished, basically? Something about ambitions as well and thinking outside of the box. 45, yeah, all these restrictions maybe have made you feel sad or are making you feel sad. It could be that you're going through your Saturn return if you're in between the ages of 27 and 31 or 57 and 61. And the more you accept your limitations, the more you're putting yourself in this downward spiral leading you toward depression or anxiety. And what you want to do is, if you're screwing into that downward spiral, you need to screw yourself out and up. If you're looking down, you need to look up. Again, latest upload on the channel, the one before this one, go check it out, pile number one. You need to watch that message, most likely. The number 45 and the number 9 could be relevant. The number 9 is actually telling me that your biggest blessing coming is that you're unscrewing yourself and you're going up. It means the end of the sad cycle. You're coming toward the end of a sad cycle. Whether this is a Saturn return or not, that is irrelevant. Whatever restrictions you have been feeling, heaviness, sadness, depression, anxiety, more like a depression, you're coming out of that now into more of a, an abundant phase and it has something to do with you switching to an abundant mindset study. There's something that you're going to learn after reading or researching that will help you gain confidence and clarity. It could be about career or it could be about something else that is making you or keeping you in this state of sadness. Um, maybe you are someone who is very studious. Maybe you will be accepted into a, some form of an education program that is going to make you feel very happy. We have courage. Definitely linked to pile number one this reading. You're going to have the courage to lift yourself out of the sadness, to live your most authentic and happy life to 
move out of your comfort zone and break down those walls that are seemingly restricting you. We have workshops and seminars, so you're being nudged to either teach or attend a workshop or seminar, maybe te a, a give a speech or listen to someone's speech, and this will be a part of your spiritual path and purpose. Be open to teaching and learning and teaching what you learn. Teaching what you learn. For some of you, this is a saying, yes, take that workshop, go to that seminar, watch that. We have Violet, especially if it's um, spiritually based. What is being shown here is that you are someone who is very wise. You are very humble. You are very spiritually connected. Your third eye chakra is very connected, your mind's eye. Maybe you are someone who meditates. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. I'm seeing more of a balance with your practical and spiritual self, selves. Three of Wands, your ships are coming in. Whatever you've waited for, whatever you've planned, this could be something to do with travel or long distance. You've waited for something, you've been planning for something, and that something will come. Nine of Water, and this is your wish come true, your wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true, something you've wanted. Maybe you've secretly wanted, maybe you haven't told any anyone about this, but it is coming your way. And you can't see that it's coming your way just yet, but it is. Or you are headed that way, even though you may think you're not. The number 18 and the number 9 could be relevant. We have 999. Nine, nine. You're definitely co closing a cycle of a lot of restrictions because you're also having to pull yourself out of it. Maybe you're doing a lot of research on how you can pull yourself out of all of these restrictions. And you will be successful. And there's another message coming through, and it's saying, move in silence, keep doing what you're doing, keep it to yourself. Six of Earth, because that's how you're going to balance your energy. There's a need for a balance when it comes to your financial, practical health life, your physical surroundings as well. So maybe that's something you're working on, and you will find the balance. The balance will happen if you keep doing what you're doing. Queen of Materials, Queen of Pentacles. You could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your chart. Money's looking good. It seems like you're going to achieve some form of financial stability that you need. And it's going to help create a balance with your finances. Some of you I'm also seeing being, being able to pay off debt. Ace of Inspiration, Ace of Wands. I did see the Ace of Wands even though it didn't come out in Pile 1. I visualized the Ace of Wands. So again, another indication that this pile is connected to pile one. You're going to have a spark of inspiration that is going to lead you toward a treasure chest. I just heard that. You're coming out of um, this very blue energy into this very warm energy. You're coming out of the cold into the heat. Life is gonna feel warm again. You're going to feel warm again. Maybe you are moving into the summer. You have the star again. See, this is major arcana for that minor arcana. Wishes fulfilled. Health restored. Hope restored. A spark of inspiration will restore your hope. Improvement in your finances will restore your hope. You're going to be able to envision the future and believe in that future. You're coming out of a lack mindset into an abundant mindset. And because of that, you will be rewarded with wish fulfillment. A long-term goal, something you've been wanting for a very long time, that's where you're headed, so stay focused on what you need to do on the practical side because that is being worked on behind the scenes even if you don't see it coming. It is coming. This reading is to reassure you that it is coming even if you can't see it. And it's coming in faster than you think, Night of Inspiration. Knight of Wands. It's coming in a lot faster than you think. 
The number 17 could be relevant to you. The number 8. You're having freedom from your restrictions. You're going to be able to celebrate, move forward, follow your heart, follow your passions, and be very successful with that. You could have Leo Sagittarius Aries or Aquarius in your chart. And I did see Gemini, Libra, and Cancer as well, Cancerian energy. So the courage and the motivation that you were lacking are also coming. And if someone was lacking the courage or motivation to take action toward you, they're freeing themselves from their own restrictions their own mental restrictions, mainly, basically. So, Pile 2, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it later. Share this video with someone you feel may need this message. If this resonated, let me know how in the comments section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. Bye. See you next time. Welcome, pile three. If you chose the turquoise, this is your reading. The number 57 could be relevant to you, as well as the number 12 and the number 3. Three is about progress, three is about networking and communication, social events, neighbors, siblings, you could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart, communication, invitations to social events, mail, email, phone calls, next big blessing could be coming via email or a phone call or through a friend or at a party. Uh, an event, maybe while you're walking around your neighborhood or a short trip tra travel somewhere, could be coming through a neighbor, a relative, or a sibling. Let's see. You're going to be able to reframe your life story or a certain story as you're gaining um, a new perspective on it. Maybe the story you've been believing about yourself or someone will change because your perspective will change. Um, you're, someone will be, maybe be offering you their own uh, perspective on something from their vantage point. Okay, but let's see. I want to see more. The castle. Maybe some of you are visiting a castle or attending an event that will be held in a castle. The number 43 could be relevant to you as well as the number 7. The number 43 and the number 7. There's something here possibly about a penthouse or a fortress. Something about being on a throne or empowered. Maybe you are manifesting um, a very castle-like home. Maybe you feel trapped in some way like walls of a castle, some depression possibly going on here. You're going to find a way, you're going to find a way. There could be a friend helping you out of um, a state of depression here. Maybe you feel trapped by fairy tales or you believe that fairy tales you believe to be true have been trapping you in illusion. I'm also seeing abundance coming your way, prosperity. But that will that's not the thing that will make you happy, even though you will have those things. You will be happier by what will make you truly happy will be people. 
And also I'm seeing networking that is leading you to prosperity. So get out there and network. Okay. First house in the self. There's something that's going to very directly benefit you. You're getting a glow up and you're going to have enough money to get the, the clothes or the things or whatever it is that you need. Your physical body is also... I'm also seeing someone socializing at the gym and something coming up at the gym here. As you're working out, you meet someone or you have, you find a friend there or you, you and your friends are discussing something. Something comes up and it's going to awaken you to some kind of reality or some piece of information that is important. But you're also seeing you being welcomed, your doors of opportunity opening in front of you and welcoming you. So networking, opening doors for you. Someone's going to help you open doors for you. There's something about the way you look that is going to be helping you as well. Someone likes the way you express yourself. You're going to be working on your self-image and glowing and improving your self-image in some way. And that's going to be very beneficial. That's going to bring in blessings and opportunities your way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're creating a magical stream for yourself. The number 18 and the number 9 could be relevant for you. You're creating this really powerful stream of income. And it's going to be like magic. Either you, someone is helping you or you're going to get more clients. Oh, the number 3 is also clients and services and, you know, commerce and... You're going to get a new stream of income or a new stream of clients. I'm seeing sales and sales flow. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. So there's a lot of light and love surrounding you. And it may be that the more you focus on bringing your best for putting your best foot forward and bringing what comes from the heart and creating something from your heart space, that is what will open up the doors of opportunity and success and prosperity. Power. You're about to feel very empowered. Your power lies within your heart and your ability to love. And that's something you're going to be working on. And that's going to be opening many doors for you. It's bringing you a whole new beginning and a breaking free from the cold castle walls I just heard. And you're flowing into a magic stream. You're reclaiming your power. I'm seeing a tower moment and I'm also seeing an epiphany. I'm seeing Uranus energy. So it's like something happens suddenly or something did happen suddenly that shifts you into a new life, a new direction, or you're getting a sudden opportunity out of the blue or you're getting a sudden epiphany out of the blue like a light bulb moment or a spark of inspiration that changes your perspective and sets you in a new direction or sets you right in the direction you want it to go in earth angel you are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love so that could that could be tied to your life purpose There's something about your life purpose that you're stepping into your life purpose. And this is bringing you a whole new powerful beginning. It's moving out of your comfort zone, but that will be the very thing that empowers you and fulfills you. So if you don't know what your life purpose is, or you have a clue or an idea and you want validation or confirmation, or if you want to totally be caught by, like surprised by it, you may want to get one of my life purpose reports based on your astrological tropical chart, based on time, place, and date of birth. My email is in the description box. If you want to email me, I can send you information for that service. But you definitely are a light worker because she's holding the light and we have the word light worker here. And you're either just becoming aware of this or you're about to start. You have been activated to start these duties. And anything before this has felt cold and empty, like castle walls. You're coming out of that energy, flowing with life, flowing with 
the direction your soul wants to lead you. Movement, again, moving. And it has, it's very tied to your self-expression. You're dancing with life. King of Air, you could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your chart. You could be someone who is normally very rational, very logical, but you're also masking something that is very true, genuine, and authentic to who you are, and you're hiding it, and it's keeping you stuck, or it has been keeping you stuck from this magic stream. But you're now being able to identify it, and you want to move with the stream. Nine of air, because staying stuck behind this mask of, you know, maybe what you feel your immediate surroundings, such as relatives, friends, neighbors, and the people immediately around you expect of you, is making you anxious, sleepless nights, maybe nervous, because you feel like you're being nudged out of this old self that was connected to that community or that those surroundings. And that's now becoming uncomfortable because now you want to flow in a different direction. But this is making you anxious. But this is something you've manifested. You could have Gemini or Virgo in your chart. This is something you've manifested. Even though it's bringing you anxiety, you can't help but manifest this because this is all that's on your mind, is this new flow. So you're creating a whole new reality, a whole new life for yourself. And you have what it takes. You have the skills. You have the expertise. You have the, the logic. You have the intuition. You have the experience. You have the spark. You have the creativity. You have every single tool at your disposal. But this is still bringing you anxiety. Now... There could be someone, for some of you, there is someone who has Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who is manifesting you, and you're feeling it, and this is making you anxious or sleepless nights. Three of Earth, what you're manifesting is a, a stable new beginning that is long-lasting and prosperous and abundant, and it's very stable. This could imply also collaboration. Ten of inspiration, but you feel burdened or you're having to release a few burdens along the way. It feels heavy to create this new beginning or this new stability, but you will manage it perfectly. Seven of char the chariot. You will manage this perfectly. I'm seeing more than one stream of income and you're just managing it like a boss. I'm seeing up to seven streams of income and you're being able to manage this perfectly and confidently because I'm seeing a confident solar plexus chakra, very healthy healthy solar plexus chakra, meaning that you're, you're moving ahead with confidence. Maybe you're traveling somewhere, but there are some burdens from the past or from your current life that are making you feel weighed down, but you're releasing that. You're no longer carrying it on your back such as these bulls or cows or whatever, you're going to start making those pots go by themselves like horses. So you're finding a new perspective on how to manage things in a way that work, that, that are able to pull you along rather than you have to carry these things. So there's a, a new way of doing things innovative way that you're going to find to do these things that will no longer weigh on your back as much and they're going to free you and you're going to feel lighter and you're actually going to feel like life is finally pulling you like a chariot like horses on a chariot and you're just going to be breezy and flowy something about the month of july is standing out for some reason six of materials you could have watched pile one or feel compelled to watch pile one but you're balancing out. I'm seeing break even and I'm seeing more success and achievements. Being able to balance your finances, get them to a healthy point where you can then build more and be successful. Six of inspiration. You're going to feel very inspired. You're going to, there's going to be a balance with your finances. Several streams of income, six of them will be very profitable. 
6 plus 6, 12, 12, 3, going back to the number 3. 3, 6, 9, and 12 are very significant in this reading. The angel number 66, there's definitely a lot of prosperity and abundance coming your way. And you're going to feel like you've mission accomplished, mission accomplished. Whatever you're manifesting will be successful. Whatever new life will be successful. And this could involve travel, relocation, a complete new beginning. But this is the flow. This is where your soul is taking you. Pile number three, that was your reading. It was a pleasure to read for you today. Let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section. If it did not, choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Save this video if you want to watch it later. Share this video with someone you feel may need this message. Extra content is on Patreon, TikTok, YouTube members area. Information for that is in the description box. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. Bye. See you sometime soon.